everybody! This is Miss Game Grace here, and for the first time in years, I can finally do an actual game I have that's not a Flash game. Uh, I finally, I finally got that Windows computer I've been saving up for. I finally got Bandicam back. I got all the sound issues going, so now the sound is just as loud as my voice. Thank God that's over with. And I've been, and now I can play a game I've been meaning to do, and a couple of you have requested to me ever since I finished my Lemony Snicket series Unfortunate Events game. And this is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone on the PC. Oh, uh, this game. I played this game a lot as a kid, so this is a bit nostalgic to me, and it's great to pick it up and play it again. So, buckle up kitties, we're going in. There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle, was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. While at Gringotts Wizard Bank, Hagrid collected a scruffy package from Vault 713, mentioning to Harry that the package, whatever it was, would be safer at Hogwarts. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Dumbledore stood up. This term, the corridor on the third floor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Well, that was quite an interesting title sequence. Oh yeah, by the way, this game... I hope you guys aren't too big on graphics, because the graphics in this game are severely outdated. Though, to be fair, this game this came out in 2001, I think, so it's Welcome about... Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It's about 14 years I old, am so Albus Dumbledore, it's your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Only this morning, I took a wrong turn and stumbled upon a room full of chocolate frogs. But alas, when I returned, they'd been replaced by a, a nasty horde of fire crabs. Ugh. Now, up the stairs and off to your lessons. Don't be late. Did your voice just spontaneously gone deeper? Alright, so... Just... Trying to get the feel for this game. It's been ages since I played it, so I'm a little on the rusty side. Oh, and I select auto jump in the options, so hopefully that'll help some bit. Okay, I can use arrow keys to move around. Cast spell, left mouse button. Alright. So, how are you guys doing? Doing wonderful? Hey, Harry! It's for me. me. I'm Long just glad to be back in My business brother, this Fred round. My George, have something to show you. Follow me. It's been way too long, and I apologize. 
All right, so let's follow Ron. Follow me, Harry. Ironically, this is the only. This is my favorite out of the Harry Hello, Potter Harry. games. We can show you how to get around Hogwarts. And again, I, this is the only one I've played. You have a lot to learn. Follow us for a secret lesson. I'll see you later in defense against the Dark Arts class. Good luck, Harry. I think I used to them not moving their lips while they're talking. Because this game does not know animation on lip movement. But once again, We're it's going a pretty to teach you how to climb. Run to the bookcase and don't stop. You'll climb up. Above the bookcase is a Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Bean. Collect all the beans you can find and meet us in the next room. Oh yeah, the beans will come in handy. So wanna collect as much as you can. Okay, it's mainly for collecting wizard cards, but... Jeez, it has been a long time since I played this game. I can't remember what to do much in this. Well done. Now, let's try jumping. Run to the ledge, then press the jump button to jump across. If you fall down, you can climb back up and start over. Once again, meet I... Meet us in the next room. We'll take the shortcut and meet you there. Oh, sure, you get all the shortcuts. Yeah. Press control key, right mouse button. But I selected auto jump to make this game a little easier. <laughs> oh, you... Oh, it's Way Potter. Oh, Peeves. That's Peeves, the poltergeist. My bane He's of existence. Always causing trouble. Peeves doesn't like first years, so watch your step. And I don't like him for all the trauma he caused to me as a kid. Alright. So you can't fight him yet because we don't know any spells, so just ignore him. <laughs> you stay right there, Mr. Floaty Ghost. Nope. Keep your pixie dust to yourself. You'll get in the hang of this. And he sparked when he floated, so that was a joke. Sorts of wicked treats. It was to a shitty a tree, joke, sorry. Just run over to it. Chocolate frogs boost your energy. Bertie bots every flavor beans are fun to collect. We're collecting them too. We need 25 beans, Harry. Come back when you've got them all. Come see us, and we'll show you the way to class. Yeah. Trading beans in a way to get a class. You know, I'm kind of on a time limit right now, you guys. And thank God that Chalk of Frog was there. You know, here's this funny story. When I was a kid, I always thought the frog ran away before he had a chance to catch it. It would piss me off. It's like, come on! I would even try to sneak up on them. And then it wasn't until I was a little older that I realized you automatic it automatically goes to your health bar and heals you from just touching it. Shows you how smart I was as a kid, huh? Alright. You know, Harry, you've got some serious jumping skills. I mean, even I can't jump that far. Okay, scooch through here. Might as well get all the beans. Get as many beans as we can. Alright, here's your friggin' birdie bot save a flavor beans. Thanks, Harry. We couldn't have done it without you. We need the beans for some <coughs> Experiments. Here's a wizard card for you. You've earned it. Now, I've played both the this version and the Climb through the oh, secret exit above the bookcases to get to your first spell lesson. Good luck. Now I've played both the PlayStation 2 version of this game and this version. And the PlayStation 2 version has more of a an importance for these cards. For every uh, 25 I think you collect, you get more health. Right? Or is it 10? 10 or 25, I can't remember. Huh. And there was like a hundred you need to collect. Maybe it was 20. Huh. I haven't played that game in a while, so now I forget how to how that works. But yeah, in this game, I think you just collect them. That's it. <gasps> well, well, well. 
if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. The mega blonde I'm Draco bastard. Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. These are my fellow Slytherins, Crab and Goyle. I'm blonde, so Naturally, therefore you have Slytherins to listen to me. Naturally, you Slytherins are going to win the House Cup and the Quidditch Cup. Because I talk like a you bastard. You better stay out of our way, Potter. Potter. Let's go, boys. Draco's a huge ass in this game. Maybe that's why I never liked him. And I know the movies have a much better portrayal for him, but in this game, he's a complete ass for the sake of being a complete ass. Move along, Potter. Keep away from this corridor if you know what's Ugh. good for you. Ah, <laughs> uh, just be careful not to cough on me. <laughs> Ugh. Now I have your germs. Mr. Old Creepy Dude. Hello, Harry. It's me, Hermione Granger. We met on the Hogwarts Express, remember? Defense against the dark arts is through this door. Follow me. Alright. Now, as a kid, these were a bit tricky for me because you have a mouse, but thanks to the power that is technology, I have a tablet pen. So let's see how I can do it with this. I am P Professor Quirrell. Today we'll learn how to p protect ourselves against the dark magic with the flippendo spell. The, 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 the flippendo spell. This is the symbol for the flippendo spell. Now hold down the mouse button, which looks like a strange make the same six pattern, and then let go of the button. All right. Oh. Okay, I guess that's not gonna work. So screw the tablet. Okay. All right. That didn't work well as I thought. That's not the shape I expected, Mr. P Potter. Hey, it's been ages, okay? You I'm rusty. You can do this, Mr. P Potter. C keep trying. Okay, so I guess you're gonna have to use the mouse. House with the most p points at the end of the year wins the house c c cup. Five p points for Gryffindor. And again, Mr. P Potter, let's see what you can do. I'm not so rusty as I thought. That was spot on, Mr. Potter. Ten points for Gryffindor. T -t -t Try again, Mr. Potter. Yes, Mr. Stutterbox. Man, I'm on a roll today. That was spot on, Mr. Potter. Fifteen points for Gryffindor. T -t -t Try again, Mr. Potter. All right. All the bits were squirty on this. Gotta hurry, better hurry, better hurry. Okay, get. Come on, bring me that 95, 95, 95, 95. Oh well. A respectable effort, but but not. Hey, I was three points good. close. Give me credit. Eh, I got three points. That's not bad for someone who hasn't played this in a while. Splendid. You may now enter the Flipendo Challenge to p practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. P -P Potter. Hold d down the mouse button to aim the flippendo spell. Release the b b button to c c 
cast the spell. Try it on that barrel. Nintendo! No kidding. As I was a kid, I always thought he said Nintendo. Doesn't it sound like that? Listen closely. Nintendo! Okay, it sounds like Nintendo, but I could swore. As a kid, I thought he said Nintendo, and it always confused me. I don't know, maybe it was because my ears were off. I'm not sure. Cast your flippendo spell at the switch on the wall to open the d d door. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of these in the game. All sorts of things, such as this cauldron. Knock it over, Mr. P Potter. I need those beans. Flipendo. Flipendo. I can use the arrow keys. I never knew that. Using the arrow keys ain't my spell. And I can't jump on that for some reason. All right, because I can't use the auto. Alright, oh, control. Okay, controls. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to get used to controls here. Yeah, it doesn't matter anyway, because... Thought I heard something. Oh! Mr. Barrow, give me your beans! Ooh, another switch. Nintendo! Nintendo! Now... Go on I'm just gonna use that from now on. I'll meet you Flipendo on. shall be known as Nintendo. No product advertising was used in this. Okay. Creepy ghost. Hello, Harry Potter. I am nearly headless Nick, the Gryffindor House ghost. Now, this is a save game book. When you touch it, your game will automatically be saved. The game will restart from this point if you faint. You can also load a saved game from the main menu. Goodbye. Note, I am not moving my lips as I talk. Because that's how normal people talk, right? <laughs> oh, that's not what I meant to do. Nintendo! 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 run good after being on hiatus. Nintendo! I mean, I did make a video a while ago, but that wasn't really a good run anyway. Nintendo! So this will make up for it. Ooh, stars. Oh, those stars, we have to keep an eye out for those, because the more stars we have, the higher points we'll get. for the auto target once you get near the item with the spell you cast on. Cast your flippendo spell on this block to knock it out of the way. How much spare time have you had to set up all these blocks and barrels and switches? My god. Flippendo! 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 Nintendo, I mean! Nintendo! Nintendo! Sorry, but I'm not sorry. 
Jeez, someone spent time on the color decorations here. Okay, we don't go over there, so... Nintendo. We get the bean here. The save point here. Nintendo. Nintendo. Oh, that was close. Get up there, Harry. We got work to do. Ooh, more, more barrels, cauldrons, whatever. I can't dis I can't tell between a barrel and a cauldron today. Nintendo. Nintendo. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, I love how they automatically. I love what this game does. It's like he didn't even grab all. He grabbed out to air before climbing it up. Uh. Okay. See, he did it again. 